hello my good people i hope you all are doing great from your respective classes good morning good afternoon good evening from wherever you're watching thus from and uh, just allow me go straight to this there are certain things when you come across video clips interviews of uh, people who are supposed to be on their correct mindset trashing so bad on the duke and duchess of sussex whereby you get the whole realization or the whole answer and you just get to be like you know what i now understand why the duke of sussex and the duchess of sussex packed their belongings and decided to leave that particular institution they make us have all the reasons see the reason as to why harry and megan really had to do the documentary series harry really had to write his memoir spare and not forgetting they really needed to do that interview with opera it really opened a lot of eyes and we're like so this is related to this basically you might be questioning yourself what am i talking about I'm still talking about people who got chances to go get interviewed and even the interviewees interviewing other people find it so right to bring Harry and Meghan as the subject in their conversations and I'm like okay so it's always going to be Harry and Meghan thus Harry and Meghan that when will they find something sensible to bring about to their crowd just allow me play you this clip and you will get to see because personally i'm like i now understand why harry packed his bags and left with his wife and uh, imagine having to deal with this manufactured negativity on daily basis even if it were you i know you wouldn't have been able to withstand this because this is just beyond imagination but there they are Prime Minister of Jamaica has made it absolutely clear he wants nothing more to do with the monarchy. He thinks it's past its sell date. So in the very week the King is going into hospital, uh, we don't know how serious it is. Uh, it's, we think it's terrific that he's talking about his condition, prostate, presuming prostate issues. His own son, who hasn't found time yet, Sarah, to say, we're sorry that Dad's not feeling so good and sending my best wishes. Mm -hmm. And we don't think that's happened privately because it had. Harry would have leaked it. Oh, yeah. Without a doubt, or she'd have leaked it. He's there consulting and hobnobbing with one of the most overtly Republican Prime Ministers in the Caribbean. Somebody who also, I understand, wants to break up the Commonwealth, which was so precious the to, to the Queen. Queen. Yeah. I mean, and, Harry, and Charles wanted Harry and Meghan, because she's, <laughs> she's a woman of colour, because yeah. we always hear about that, to be key parts of the ambassadorial role to promote the Commonwealth. And here he is now, consulting the weakest father's going to hospital, to destroy it. I can't believe it. I mean, I think they are, they, they, they are, no, they are, they are deliberately trolling yes, the royal family. This is obviously what they're doing. The now changing whole thing, the whole subject, to that point of them saying that it is now Harry and Meghan trolling at the royal family. Just get to see this, and I'm like, where do people get the nerves, the courage? Like, what's wrong with some people out here? That just Megan and the Duke of Sussex making an appearance back in Jamaica was a whole, whole manufactured story now back in the UK. They can't just get rid of it. Yet there are the, some people speaking of Charles being unwell. Yet there are the, some, some people speaking of Kat being unwell. Why don't they speak about their king and princess? And, uh, you know, kind of speak like there are better things to do rather than bringing harry and megan in each and every single interview they get this is beyond imagination i'll say that over and over again because what's the essence of all this yes they've done it they've said harry and megan decided to go to jamaica and not thinking of going to uk so what's next now they have always wanted Harry and Meghan to prioritize them, yet they themselves never prioritized Harry and Meghan. Where does that happen? On which particular planet Earth? Treat people the same way you'd love to be treated. 
when you are in the same position. Harry and Meghan never got any better treatment. To the point where Duchess Meghan was suicidal, their mental health terribly damaged and nothing was done about the same. Can you even relate the two? And now that you know Charles is supposed to be undergoing a prostate procedure, it hasn't even happened. It hasn't been confirmed the day, the date, and when. And a cat has already had her abdominal surgery. Yes, she should be recovering in peace. It's not Harry and Meghan's business. And Harry and Meghan cannot cancel each and everything that they had planned or organized for this year just because some people, some members of their family are unwell. It, it doesn't happen. And I'm just left short of words because I'm like, this institution truly hat on Harry and Meghan. And the fact that the institution, the foundation itself, has shown it to the world, to the public, that we don't love these people. They've given a chance. They've given the haters, the derangers, more power to continue trolling on Harry and Meghan. They've given such fake journalists the opportunity to continue having conversations, interviews, and interviewing people just about Harry and Meghan. This whole thing is just something that no one would wish to be in that particular state. Because I'm like, why? When will they ever stop? Because even if you get to listen to Harry very well, there was a time whereby he got an interview. And he went ahead and said, I thought by us living, this whole trolling, the fact that they were always on the front magazines on daily basis would stop. Because they had decided to leave the country for them. But things even got worse than uh, per what they had expected. What does this tell you? I always say this is not a one-man power thing. There is a large power behind it that funds it so well. And that's why it won't stop today, tomorrow, or even the day after tomorrow. Because there are people behind there backing it up very bad very weird and i'm like wow just watching this gives me all the reasons just to say harry and megan never belonged there they don't deserve to even dare think about just you know going back to that particular toxic institution not even for a minute no matter how hard they trash on them bring about negativity i doubt Harry and Megan are shaken even for a bit with what they say. They just have to go get alive and leave Harry and Megan out of this. That's my take. I don't know what are some of your thoughts over this. Kindly just comment them down below. And that was our today's video. And thank you so much for tuning in. Hoping to see you guys in our next video.